Hello, hola, and bonjour to all you subscribers out there. This is Doug, representing half of MB3, Macro Bros Bodybuilding. And today, I'm back in the basement, haven't been here for a while, to do a how-to video for a lagging body part that a lot of people, especially people that are just getting into lifting, want to bring up, which is biceps. A lot of people usually tell me that that's one of my strongest points, on my body anyway. And it's not a genetic strong point, but I don't know, I guess I just trained that the most when I was first getting into lifting, just like a lot of people do, the curl monkeys. And so I'm going to help you guys with one of my favorite exercises if you want to build up the biceps. So one of my favorite exercises for the biceps is just a classic standing barbell curl. Now you can see I have relatively light weight on it just to show you how to do it. And the reason why I like this exercise so much is because not only does it give a great pump to your biceps and a big burn, but also it works both heads of your bicep, the short head and the long head, because there's two muscle heads on your bicep. All right, so how you begin this is by just gripping the bar shoulder, shoulder width apart, standing straight up with your back, back with a slight curve to it, your elbows in, shoulders back, and all you do is just curl up. Now it may seem very simple and like there's no need to explain anything, but there's a few key tips. Now the few things that you would want to avoid is when you're curling, don't bring your arms up because this acts as a front raise and will bring in your front delts into the exercise and not target your biceps. You want to really isolate them unless you're doing a cheat set, which we'll talk about that later. So. What you want to do is grip the bar like this, keep your shoulders back, elbows in, and just curl straight up and squeeze at the top. Now, it's really important to squeeze at the top because that is where you get your max contraction and that really brings all the muscle fibers into it, which will really give the microfiber tears to them. And then also stretching at the bottom. Not, don't exaggerate the stretching, but make sure you go all the way down because that gets the tie-in of your bicep. Now, this is important because a lot of people don't, they go about halfway down. And yeah, it's working your bicep, but not to the full potential. Now that we have a few key points down, we can actually start the exercise. So you just wanna hit eight to 12 reps for hypertrophy to really build the muscle. And like I said, all you're doing is curling, squeezing at the top, and letting it down and stretching at the bottom. Now when you let it down, after you squeeze the top, when you let it down, you want to go slower on the negative. I believe that's the concentric. I don't know, Matthew would know that. Well, you're actually a little mixed up there, Doug. Uh, the concentric, like you're saying, is actually shortening of the muscle fibers, like when you're bringing up in the bicep uh, on the curl. And the movement you're talking about is eccentric. It's still contraction, but it's the elongating of the muscle fibers, so it's still under tension, but that's on the slow negative is eccentric muscle uh, contraction. Anyway, you want to go slow on the way down because that's what really gives you the microfiber tears and builds up the bicep. Now on to the cheat sets, like I was talking about earlier in the video. Now what these are going to be like is kind of like what I told you not to do, use other body parts and bring them into the exercise just to get the weight up. Well, with the cheese sets, it's a little bit different because you usually use either a little bit higher weight than you can actually do with strict form, or it's just towards the end of your sets just to completely burn out and exhaust the muscle. Now, what these are going to look like is after you've done your strict form and you've done all your curls that you can do, now I come back up and I can't get any more because my arms are just way too tired. Now I'm going to cheat just to get the weight up, just to completely exhaust the biceps. So I'm going to use anything I can just to bring the weight up and then use a slow negative on the way down. Still keeping my elbows in, but I'm still bringing my lower back into it a little bit. Those are what cheat curls would look like. Alright everyone, so there you have it the standard straight bar curl. I hope that answers any questions you might have about the exercise and I hope you guys try it out yourself and comment and tell me what you think about it. It's one of my favorites just because it's a great mass builder and 
it really gives a nice pump and a nice burn. So if you want to build up uh, these bad boys, then try it out yourself. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, you can actually like it, you can throw it on a comment, and even subscribe. We really appreciate all the new subscribers. We're almost at 1,100, which is pretty awesome. So thanks, guys. Keep subscribing, and I'll see you next video. Stay tuned. About this, being all humble. Yeah, uh, you know, I don't even look in the mirror at myself. I'm constantly looking at like a TV or like looking up or trying not to look at anybody else because I don't want them to think 